Update on my boyfriend, 19M, has given me, 19F, an ultimatum on the clothing I wanted to wear. First of all I wanted to say thank you for all the support and advice on my last post. I read every single comment and wanted to reply but the reply option wasn't available. I am new to Reddit, I'm not sure why the post was capped and doesn't allow any more comments. After feeling encouraged by your comments, I had the confidence to tell him that I choose being able to wear what I want. I reiterated how important fashion is to me and how his demands were bringing me back to a dark time of negative body image. We came to an agreement that there are fundamental differences in our values and what we want out of a relationship because I want to be encouraged and uplifted while he wants a girl whose body is only his to look at. By the way, I wanted to say that this dress was not scandalous. It is tight in some parts, but doesn't show a lot of skin, he told me that we were done. He then blocked me on everything because, if he saw me, he would never be able to get over me. I cried for a couple of hours and then got myself collected. I made an appointment with a therapist and got a membership at a different gym than him. But then five hours later, he unblocked me and sent a long paragraph about how he shouldn't have been so hasty and was willing to change to make things work. Yesterday he texted me some more asking to talk in person I agreed to meet up for dinner in a public place. I wore the dress. He brought me a bouquet of white roses and my favorite chocolate. He told me I look beautiful and that the five hours without me hurts so much and at this point, he doesn't care if I'm walking around naked as long as he's the one I'm with. Can this man's fundamental values really change overnight? Also, I felt almost giddy and excited once I was done crying. Now I feel bad for him. Oof. He broke up with you and is now love bombing you. No, his fundamental values didn't change overnight. His comment about wanting a girl whose body is only his to look at is gross and controlling. Find someone else who respects you. This is called love it's another part of the cycle of abuse. He's just trying to worm his way back into your good someone old enough, literally, to be your grandmother and a veteran of a couple abusive relationships. Please believe me when I say, girl, run. Run. Do not walk. Get away from this man and don't look. Treat you like, then bring you flowers. Wash. Rinse. Repeat. That's how the cycle begins. Please don't feel bad for him. He doesn't give a about your feelings and he is trying to play on your sympathy. I'm sure he actually is unhappy to lose you because you sound awesome and you're his property, but this is all straight up manipulation. No way this man is going to change. The classic, I will shower her with love and affection so that when I try to control her again, she'll be confused and maybe this time I'll succeed in tearing down her self-esteem so that she stays with op. Run, block has not changed in just 5 hours. His attempt at controlling you failed so now he's going to lull you into a false sense of security and hope that the next time he tries it you will be too invested to walk away. Exactly this op plus you were doing fine without him and he saw that. So he backtracked he thought you were gonna be besides yourself and fall at his feet. Who the f breaks up with their gf because she wants to wear her own clothes. Please don't take this dude back. He's just messing with you. Ugh ewww honestly he sounds like op is an object for him to own instead of an actual human. Trying to play the long game. They do then it's oh you're three years and a baby so nw you have to do I want it so gross. Girl no, he is love bombing you, and it's seemingly working because you're feeling giddy and willing to immediately forget everything he did before. No, this will only last as long as it takes for him to reel you back in, then the control and manipulation will start up again. Sorry I didn't phrase the last part very well. I meant that I felt giddy and excited after I stopped crying over him blocking me. Then I saw his name on my phone again, 5 hours later because he had unblocked me and sent a paragraph. Ever since he reached out again I have felt a tense feeling in my stomach and anxiety because I don't know what to believe. When I saw him for dinner and he gave me the bouquet of roses I felt super guilty and confused. I felt awful when I left after dinner he was sitting on the curb crying in my rearview mirror. He wanted to kiss me but I told him I really can't do that right now yesterday he told me it was over. Part of it is I feel really bad for him to lose me because he doesn't have a lot of good people in his life, his mother is horrible to him and he's failing classes etc. I was the one always there for him, I drove him to school, I encouraged him to reach out to his professors to see if he can save his grades. I want him to be okay because he's been such a huge part of my life and is telling me he's not going to be okay without me. Yup, just the classic abuse cycle. Tone it down until she's attached to him again, then a start again. She is right to question whether someone can change like this overnight, they can't. While I understand this op, 
This is more or less savior complex stuff. It's not your job or responsibility to be the only good person in his life. Doing that will burn you out and get doesn't feel good, but it will in the long run. Prioritize yourself and not the guy who literally told you he wants to be able to control your body image. No, you don't owe him because his life is. What does that reinforce? That you will sacrifice yourself for him? That he can control you via sympathy? He is a grown human and you are not his keeper. You need to be your priority, not him. That's the idea. How could you ever be mean to such a nice guy who praised you and brought you flowers? Never mind his archaic unhealthy desire for control, he brought you flowers. You deserve an actual nice guy, not one masquerading as a decent person. Yes, he seems to be quite theatrical. Sometimes men get extremely emotional over trivial things. Sometimes it's because they refuse to even try to manage their emotions. Sometimes it's calculated to manipulate you. Either way, I say tell your story Walken, my main point. I'm scatterbrained, sure, but this is on the level. He tells you he won't be okay without you. But asterisk has he ever been okay with you? Asterisk. Greater than I felt giddy and excited after I stopped crying over him blocking me trust yourself. Your initial reaction is the correct one. Stay strong in your decision, it was the right one to make. Only thing he's changed is how tactics on how he's going to control her. And even that hasn't really changed much. Congratulations! You have unlocked the feature L-O-V-E-B-O-M-B-I-N-G, T-M. Prepare for a whirlwind of 3 to 12 days of the most romantic, loving, best behaved, flexible boyfriend the world has ever known. He's been restored to factory settings for your dating pleasure red heart red heart red heart some side effects may include doubting you were wrong to leave him cementing your belief that this is the real him and making commitments your past self would raise an eyebrow the trial period expires you'll be upgraded to the full cycle of abuse package in your particular model this looks like emotional blackmail where if you really loved him you do it one of the features aptly named the imbalance of power, may appear in the form of doing things he wants and he needs while neglecting yourself. But you won't even notice it's there thanks to, if you really loved him you do it. We've also added gaslighting to all standard emotionally abusive relationships since 2015, where all of it is your fault for reasons that you should understand through psychic powers because he's not going to explain it. Not to worry, guilt still comes standard with all models. So deciding to leave during the first trial period of love bombing, TM, will make you feel like a horrible you choose to cancel your subscription to emotionally abusive boyfriend in the future. We will reactivate the L-O-V-E-B-O-M-B-I-N-G, TM, feature at no charge to you. Exactly. Every time I broke up with a guy, I got flowers. And that was the only time I got flowers. Rolling on the floor laughing. I had an ex who threatened suicide if I left him. I called his mom because I was so scared and confused. His mom told me to stay strong and that he would be okay without me. The same goes for you, Op. He will be fine, and even if he isn't, that is not your problem. You are not responsible for anyone else's emotional stability. Take care of yourself. Because it's the start of abuse, he will shower you with love then abuse you emotionally over things shower you with gifts rinse and repeat run yay that's not love that's codependency i made an appointment with a therapist good move let a skilled person look into that lift you up and explain to you how his manipulation works and got a membership at a different gym than i did be out of his zone but then five hours later he unblocked me oh no they usually do come back after having messed once with you so as a rule Block who ghost sent a long paragraph about how he shouldn't have been so hasty and was willing to change to make things work. That, one manipulator and gaslighter at work, and a skilled one at that. He understood that he overstepped boundaries and that he had lost his prey, you, by making the move. What he did then is called, love bombing. It's going along with a narcissistic person's box of tools to get power over another person. Serving in the end to totally win power over that person and break their will. You dodged that bullet once. Don't get back. Stay away from him. Block him. Remember the snake car of the Jungle Book by Disney? This is what he does right now. Gaslighting you into believing he could change from a manipulative R person into a liberal, good to be with, dude. 
Magic Wand Man Mage no effing way this is true. He's an Andrew Taint wannabe. She called his bluff. Now he's crawling back. This will not end well. Love bombing. Go to your therapist before you make any further decisions. Do not asterisk asterisk go to therapy with him. It's a very bad idea to go to therapy with your abuser be asterisk very careful asterisk about segs with him at this stage. He may try to baby trap this man's fundamental values really change overnight. No, not overnight, not on his own. I went back to your first post. This wasn't about one dress that he didn't like. He felt like it was his place to go through all your clothes and tell you what you were allowed to wear. That's very messed up. Thanks for sharing. I just watched it and it scared me because it's so accurate. I have my mum holding me accountable now to not get back with him.